A very good day to all of you. In the lesson today, we are going to talk about adjective clauses. Sometimes it is also called relative clauses. So what is an adjective clause? So before we take a look at um, examples of adjective clauses, uh, first let us try to understand what is a clause itself. So um, when we write, so in writing, uh, we have um, different levels. First, we have letters, and then after letters, we have, um, with letters, we form words. For example, uh, the word cloud. And so that is a single word. Um, after a word, we have what we call as phrase. For example, when we say the beautiful cloud. So that is a phrase. So a phrase is not a complete sentence. Um, after a phrase, we have what we call as a clause. So a clause, it is like a phrase, but it has a verb. For example, when you say, it looks beautiful. So here you have a verb. <clears throat> so it, it is um, a clause. So when you combine um, the clause with the rest of the sentence, you will form a complete sentence. For example, the beautiful clouds, the beautiful cloud that looks beautiful can only be seen from here. So here you have a complete sentence. Um, so you have one, the first part of the sentence, and then you have the second part of the sentence. So this is what we call as a clause. So this is a clause because it has a verb. So this is uh, not a clause because it uh, does not have a verb. So it is also possible to combine two clauses to create a sentence. For example, when you say, I bought a car so that is one clause because it has a verb in it which is bought that I think I like the most so this is the second part of this is the second part of the sentence with another verb so you have um, first the first part of the sentence and this is the second part of the sentence so that means a clause and another clause becoming a sentence so that is what a clause is. First, we have what we call as word, and then we have phrase, and then we have clause, and then we have sentence. So that is what we refer to as a clause. So what about adjective clause? So, adjective clause is basically a clause or any clauses that start with who, 
whom who's that or which so this is what we call as adjective clause so if a clause starts with who whom whose that or which we call it as adjective clause so this is basically an adjective clause so the same goes to this one so that is also an adjective clause so in the topic today we are going to talk to talk about adjective clauses now let us take a look at um, the adjective clauses in details so basically these words um, we call them or we refer them as pronouns or relative pronouns so let us take a look at um, the adjective clauses in detail um, so um, who normally is used for people so when we are referring to people we use who uh, for example when we say that is the girl um, that is the person who um, gave me the plow flower so that is the person who gave me the flower um, for people the same goes for whom and whose so whom and whose also we use for people so we use who because we want to replace a noun or a pronoun for example when i say that is the person who gave me the flower so the person is a noun or she is the person who gave me the flower so she is a pronoun so noun can be any um, any noun could be um, a person could be a name could be um, an animal could be a thing but pronouns are the words that we use to replace noun like he she it we or they whom also for people um whose also for people um so we use whom because we want to replace the object the nouns or the pronouns and whose to replace the possessive nouns like his, hers, our, or their. So we'll take a look at the examples of these um, relative pronoun in detail shortly. And then we have that and which. So that can be used for people or thing. Um, so if who, whom, and whose are exactly for to replace people but that can be used to replace people or things and which is used to replace things only so let us take a look at a few examples of the relative pronouns or the adjective uh, clauses um, first first um, the relative pronoun who so as the example given just now um, that uh, for example she is the one who gave me the flower so this is the adjective clause because it starts with who so who refers to she so because that is what a relative pronoun or what an adjective clause is adjective clause refers to a noun and relative pronoun it replaces the noun so it, it refers to she she is the one who gave me the flower 
So this is the clause and this is the relative pronoun and this is the subject. The subject is a person, she. Um, it could also be a name. For example, Sarah. Sarah is the one who gave me the flower. So Sarah is replaced by the relative pronoun who. So that is um, the adjective clause. So um, this sentence can actually be broken into two sentences. For example, uh, when you say that is Sarah, and then she gave me the flower. So when you combine these two sentences, it becomes Sarah is the one who gave me the flower. Next, let us take a look at um, the next relative pronoun, which is whom. So um, the next example is, for example, when you have um, a sentence, I bought A phone from a person, and I have never met that person. So, when you combine these two sentences, uh, so you would use a relative pronoun, for example. I bought a phone from a person. Now you use whom I have never met. So whom is the relative pronoun and this would be the adjective clause. So this is also the adjective clause. <clears throat> So, whom I have never met. So, can you see the difference between who and whom? So, who here refers to the subject. But, whom here refers to the object of the sentence. Because the object is the person. So, in a sentence, we have subject verb and object so i for example a simple sentence would be <clears throat> i drive the car so i is the subject drive is the verb the car is the object so the same goes to this sentence here i is the subject have never met is the verb and the person is the object so whom here in this sentence refers to the object but who here refers to the subject so in this sentence you can also use the relative pronoun that because as we have talked just now that can be used for people and things so you could say sarah is the one that gave me the flower or i bought a phone from a person that i have never met of course you cannot use which because which is for things not people so next let us take a look at the relative pronoun whose um whose is used to replace um, possessive so we use whose to talk about possessive something that belongs to someone for example when i say in a sentence um, amira whose book i borrowed is now in hospital so amira 
whose book I borrowed is now in hospital. So whose is referring to the book um, that belongs to Amira. So whose is possessive. Possessive means belongs to someone. Um, another example would be the big house whose owner is rich is actually my friend. So the big house whose owner is rich. So that means whose here relates the owner and the house. So the house belongs to the owner. So it is possessive something that belongs to the owner, which is the house. So whose is um, a relative pronoun that we use to show possession. Something that belongs to someone. Another example would be Japan is a country whose citizens are friendly. So, um, whose here refers to citizens of Japan. So that means the citizen of Japan. Japan is a country whose citizens are friendly. So whose refers to possessions. So Japan and the citizens. So it links Japan and the citizens. So the citizen of Japan that are friendly. So there you have who's there. So when you are talking about possession, when you have a noun, could be a person, could be a thing, could be a house, could be a country, and then something that belongs to the noun, you use whose as the relative pronoun to link between the noun and also the possession. Next, we talk about the relative pronoun that. So an example of that as an adjective clause is, for example, when you say um, no one wanted to buy the stuff that I sold. So, no one wanted to buy the stuff that I sold. So, this is the adjective clause because um, it has that, the relative pronoun, as well as a verb. And this is another clause because you have a verb. Um, so, that here refers to which word in the sentence. So, it refers to the word stuff. So the stuff that I saw. So in this case, um, um, that refers to the word stuff and it becomes an adjective clause. Um, so basically in this sentence, uh, no one. So no one is what we call as indefinite indefinite pronoun it could be anybody so like this one Amira so that is a person um, you can also use everyone for example everyone who went to school yesterday received a present so everyone here is indefinite so it could be anyone it is unlike sarah uh, which is a name of a person um, an exact person so everyone could be anyone and that is the um, relative pronoun and this is the adjective clause 
so there are many adjective clauses that you can use with that so that can be used for thing can also be used for people um, what else can you think of what kind of a sentence adjective clause that you can create with that another example is you can say um, almost anyone that I know won't lend me money so almost anyone that I know won't lend me money so that I know will lend me money is the adjective clause and that refers to anyone here um, it is also possible that uh, when you have an adjective clause it is also possible when you are speaking um, for you not to have the relative pronoun itself because the sentence will still make sense so no one wanted to buy the stuff I saw so the sentence is still correct or you can put the relative pronouns that so the same goes to the sentence almost anyone that I know won't lend me money you can also say in a correct sentence that almost anyone I know will lend me money um, so the sentence is grammatically correct um, it's just that the relative pronoun that is hidden from the sentence so which is also possible and next we will take a look at the relative pronouns which and adjective clause that starts with which so which as we know um, can only replace things so for example in in a sentence um, iPhone 4 which was invented by Steve Jobs sold millions around the world so in this sentence this is the adjective clause that we have and iPhone 4 would be the phrase so iPhone 4 which was invented so which refers to the subject iPhone 4 next um, lastly for adjective clause you can also use you can also talk about time and place so for example when you say this is the place where I was born so this is the place where I was born so this is the adjective clause and this adjective clause refers to the place and um, next we can also use adjective clause to talk about time um, for example um, this is the time when you should be doing your homework so we have the relative pronoun when here because when refers to the time so another example is 1985 was the time when proton saga was introduced So when here refers to the time which is 1985 so that is also a relative um, adjective clause or relative clause that talks about time other than place so you can also have a name of a place here Kuala Lumpur is where I was born so whichever or however you write your sentence 
of course you'll have to make sure that your grammar is always correct and appropriate so i guess um, that is all about um, adjective clauses and um, we have covered um, some relative pronouns that form subjective clauses like who whom whose that and which and also when and where um, thank you for your attention i'll see you again in the next video